band called Kulta Siipi. Well, first of all, guys, uh, could you tell me who and what exactly is Kulta Siipi? Kulta Siipi is a bundle of crazy people, actually. Uh, we are normally six people, but our singer is on holidays, so... And, and our was, guitar uh, player disappeared. Yeah, our <laughs> guitar player disappeared somewhere, so that happens. Pretend to be busy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Kulta Zipi is a fun folk metal project um, and we deal with Finnish texts, uh, lyrics that we have stolen from some books uh, from ancient times because our, in in our Finnish, English too, is very bad. <laughs> um, but um, Kulta Zipi was founded 2006 or seven. we don't know, we have forgotten about. Um, uh, it was, uh, I had a party series with um, a girl called Svana and um, we did some Scandinavian folk metal party series. And um, after that we, f we thought maybe it would be a good idea to start um, making music together again because um, we had a band um, some years ago before um, that played some kind of dark rock and um, yeah that was uh, Kulta Zipi's uh, first year we, we only rehearsed uh, in the kitchen <laughs> uh, with flute and the bass and uh, we found a singer called Marco and um, he joined us and after that uh, we found some other members of the of the band um, no, Everything changed. The first years there was a lot of changing uh, in the in the lineup of the band, and now we have uh, been like uh, five, six, seven years in this uh, lineup. I don't know. Four. That's, uh, nice that's correct. Four, four years. <laughs> four, four or four five years, years yeah. whatever. <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, it was a crazy. Um, this this band was founded because we wanted to answer uh, to Timo Rautiainen. Um, Timo Rautiainen did a um, nice project called, um, I don't know if I spell it correct or pronounce it correct, um, Timo Rautiainen and uh, Trionis Kalakaus. It is a project um, that had two albums in German and very, very bad German indeed. Um, it was translated by a school teacher in Finland or something. It was really, really bad uh, from the from the lyrics, but the music was great. So uh, we wanted to make a kind of answer and said, OK, we can also sing Finnish. If they can sing German, we can also sing Finnish, whatever. So um, I went to a library and stole some uh, nice books uh, from there. <laughs> the Kanteleta and the, the Kalevala and um, some other things, and um, then we started to to take the lyrics from Finish that. Telephone book, maybe. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> Finnish telephone book, <laughs> whatever it was. Um, there were some translations in Engl into English and German, so I knew something about. Oh, this song is about this and that, and um, yeah, we took the, the lyrics and made a song about it. And also, we took some um, traditionals um, that we converted into folk metal style so yeah that was the beginning <laughs> okay and was that like the original idea or where, where did it come from was it the uh, uh, trioniska locals uh, because um, they don't yeah. actually no. they don't really play folk metal so where did the like uh, the original idea come from to play this uh, Finnish uh, or uh, folk metal based on Finnish folklore? Um, well, I, I really was a big fan of Amorphis and um, also other Finnish um, folk bands or folk metal bands or only metal bands. Um, I'm still a big fan of uh, Finnish metal music. Uh, my favorites today are um, like our Ghost Brigade and Insomnium and um, things like that. Um, yeah, I really like the, the music and um, the, the melodies and I really like the people. So we have a connection with some Finnish bands that uh, we have been playing with. Um, yeah, but uh, the, or the original idea was uh, some crazy idea about 
we loved this uh, this funny albums and we had this party series going on and we liked folk metal and wanted to make this we, we just mixed it up and said um, we are doing this now <laughs> so <laughs> it was no big also over over time it <laughs> kind of turned into we play music that we would like to dance to yeah so our main aim is to make people jump yeah i was before that in a black metal band uh, about eight years and um, that was really uh, the, the the audience was like standing like there <laughs> and I really wanted to have something different from that so that the Shoe people baby. are really uh, going crazy and I think that uh, somehow succeeded <laughs> oh yeah it and it's not super difficult yeah we are not so so we can drink yeah. while play yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's I guess it's also the smallest base uh, if you if you have different people who like somehow metal and and then you have some traditional instruments like flutes and whatever it comes to and and of course the Suchet uh, of Kalevala all the Finnish uh, sagas and whatever then it comes to kind of folky what metal jump pumper. I suppose it's kind of a meeting point when you have people coming from darker types of metal and people coming from rock and then we have people coming from folk and this is kind of where we meet mm. in the middle yeah you can mix in some death metal and black metal parts without anybody complaining yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> and what kind of uh, feedback or reaction have you gotten from metal fans for example here in germany about your uh, very novel idea People who haven't heard or seen us before, when they see us at festivals, most we always have people coming up to the stage after our gigs saying, "That was fun! I really like that." <laughs> so uh, when you when when you speak about the first albums, um, it didn't transport the feeling you create on the stage. Yeah, that's basically. yeah, yeah. That, that's true. This is this is the reaction we get from people who hear us live. And when when I remember, I am. Then grass brennt oh. gerade. <laughs> we have some fire. <laughs> Wieso denn? Ich hab's doch gesehen. Ja, du schon, aber die Verantwortlichen nicht. <laughs> There are some um, when when Finnish people hear our music, they mostly. Um, when they hear us live, they, they, they just stand there and, and try to, 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 to find out what, what language do they sing. <laughs> because we sing very, very bad Finnish language and it's old Finnish. So they, they, they mostly assume that we are from Estonia <laughs> <laughs> and so on. But then they recognize, oh, well, this is a, this is a song that uh, I heard in kindergarten in Finland. <laughs> what do they do? <laughs> or my grandmother sang this song to me. What are they doing? So um, sometimes they recognize uh, it's really Finnish folklore. And then they come to us like, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. But mostly they like it. I, I can tell about my first impression. So uh, I jumped in four years ago. And I found them on eBay, so they were yeah, eBay, I, eBay, Kleine, eBay, eBay, Kleine Ach, Kleine Kleine Kleine. Kleine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And they were looking for a guitar player, mm -hmm. a guitarist, and I said, well, strange name. Okay, there are two ladies. I I never played with ladies in a metal band, of course. <laughs> I, there are two ladies. Uh, yeah, that's an <laughs> argument for them. <laughs> no, uh, I mean I I was decades off of the stage and so I was at least curious to see uh, what's going on and what's happening there and basically they they told about that's folk metal whatever but the guitars kind of gothic rock uh, power metal speed metal black metal sometimes so it's it was now changing for me I played the same like before <laughs> <laughs> okay, I found some info online that you already played in Finland. 
Yes. So uh, <laughs> when was that and how did it go? No. Um, it was uh, all before their, all their Set times, the so nobody of them was involved in, at this time. <laughs> uh, it was 2010 and uh, we were um, heading to Finland with um, guitars only and uh, we are no real big equipment and uh, we went for holidays uh, for one week. Uh, we've been in uh, Loppi in a nice uh, little um, house in the woods somewhere um, and um, we made three gigs from there in um, where was it in Riimäki in uh, Hüvinke and in um, Himmelina we did uh, some gigs and uh, we combined them uh, with uh, two bands that we know from there it's Manzana and it's uh, for Selina and Sil they they have disbanded uh, already but uh, we did uh, the gigs together with them and it was really, really big fun. And um, we had a lot of mushrooms for breakfast because um, there were a lot of mushrooms so in the woods. We, we have, uh, <laughs> we ate all day mushrooms. And um, yeah, there was one night uh, when Manzana and Forcelina and Sin uh, dropped into our house after the gig. And um, we said, oh, there's a bed and there and there. You can sleep there and there. And they said, um, we sleep where we drop. And the next day when I woke up, <laughs> I really thought like, what are those guys doing? There is somebody sleeping under the table. <laughs> there was one sleeping um, before the sauna. <laughs> and one was uh, uh, just sitting there and sleeping. So I think, what are those things going to be? It was, re it was really uh, big fun for us. So. And, um, we just uh, like the those those people yeah the the finnish people yeah and the reaction from the from the finnish uh, people was like oh, what are those germans doing here <laughs> <laughs> all finnish uh, bands want to go to germany and play gigs there but nobody wants to go come to finland and we said Whoa, we want to make holiday here and <laughs> yeah let's play some gigs with friends yeah <laughs> we have cats uh, well, as you said, uh, well, none of you really speak Finnish, so uh, what kind of process it is when you write songs or lyrics? Um, we mostly take them from um, this book, uh, it's the translation the of the Finnish um, uh, magic songs um, from ancient times. Um, I think maybe the Finns don't know this book. <laughs> <laughs> um, we take this, this, uh, these um, lyrics that we have um, when we want to know. Well, the songs maybe about uh, exorcism or whatever. We take the we take the lyrics that we think um, they are fitting from um, for singing, um, which, because sometimes the words are too long. Um, yeah, sometimes we shorten them, or we also sh shorten the lyrics at maybe some strange. Uh, yeah, we, we just make some cuts somewhere. We try to finish uh, sentences. It doesn't always work. Yeah. <laughs> so, sometimes we, we uh, the finish, lyrics finish are... sentences. We try yeah, to finish finished. finish sentences. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and we, we, we just try to find okay, out okay. what is this what are these lyrics about? And then um, we just uh, put it in, into the music. So um, because we cannot write the Finnish lyrics, we just take them from ancient ancient. To put it in a nutshell, there's 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 lyrics here about there there's uh, um, cantations against cockroaches, against bears, for soothing the wind, and we go through this book and say, oh, that's a cool topic. Let's make a uh, let's make a song against yeah, cockroaches. I, I think that the taste of our singer plays some kind of major role also. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he has some, he, he likes especially cockroaches and maggots and all those uh, little <laughs> sweet animals. Something to drink, of course, True, bad yeah. housewives. <laughs> we have something against the plague if you are interested. I don't know if there's something about against Corona. but. <laughs> oh, we should make a song yeah. against Corona. No, <laughs> I can't hear it anymore. The, the good part is, uh, it's one point not to discuss about, you know, because uh, this band loves to discuss it 
all the time. <laughs> We'd never do, never <laughs> yeah. ever. Yes. <laughs> so uh, when when we're starting a song, uh, we need sometimes more than three years. Depends, depends, yeah. Depends. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then circumstances when we start a song and then one person has a baby, and then we continue the song and then the next person has a baby, <laughs> then we exchange a guitar player and maybe a drummer, and then it turns into three years. That's true. Yeah. But normally it go, we can, we are able of uh, we are capable of working faster than that. Uh, but we have uh, already planned uh, the baby's um, wave like so. Um, Actually, I think we're done now. I, I hope so. <laughs> I have no plans. <laughs> You're the last one. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say you have no plans? Plans. <laughs> ah. Different thing. I never had plans. Uh, you never had plans? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I never had plans and I have four kids. Yeah. <laughs> so five? Five, 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 yeah. Or five or four. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Official. <laughs> but yeah, the, 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 the process is we take a topic and then we look at the at the finished text and we try to find out which part of the finished text aligns to which part of a translation that we have, be it English, be it German. And then we try to select pieces of that and make it fit to the music so that something that kind of makes sense comes out at the end. <laughs> okay, what we about hope. the music? Where does the inspiration for the music itself um, come from? That's very, very different. Um, some of our best songs actually originated from I Had a Dream Last Night. <laughs> there's, there's, there's one story. One day I, I uh, spent the night at Daisy's, Daisy's place and the next morning I slept on the couch and the next morning she comes up to me, I have a melody, let's play now! <laughs> Can I have coffee first? <laughs> oh, and we also have Finnish um, folklore music um, really put into metal. So um, there's a song uh, called Taivas und Sinilin, but we will talk later about it maybe. Um, so there are some melodies, um, maybe sometimes we try to uh, to take the whole song and sometimes we just take uh, some parts of it yeah. and, and at make least it like, a, only, like yeah. a... At least speaking for the drums, we also sometimes try out things. <laughs> and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> we have some... One, one of our songs originated from our former guitar player and me visiting a concert and there was a lady that played um, acoustic guitar and she played a Swedish folk tune. And the guitar player said to me, we need to take that tune and do something with it. Um, and then we actually did and turned that tune into a song. Um, sometimes it is, he has ideas, he has a lot of ideas, he has too many ideas. <laughs> Um, sometimes she has ideas, sometimes our guitar, the other guitar player has too much wine. It really comes from all different places. Yeah, it's, it's not... For the drama. Yeah. <laughs> it's nothing homogeneous, it's, nope. it's totally different. And yeah. also every, everybody is free to bring in melodies and songs. I think almost every one of us has brought in something already. That's, uh, so the, the, the first part is the idea and the second harder part is getting it together yeah getting it together convince everybody yeah we're some <laughs> kind of consensus based more or less yeah i think that's an important point democratic yeah no not democratic consensus <laughs> different thing oh it's it's on, on different layers but if, if somebody no no if somebody <laughs> has something against some song for example then we continue yeah, when you, everyone is you some need kind this strategy. of <laughs> kind of happy, <laughs> yes, yeah. just like that. Oh. I think it's safe to say that we have no song that nobody likes at all, or that no, we have no song where we have one person in the band that says, "I really hate that song." I think hate most, most, words. I think most of our songs are like everybody <laughs> has something in it that he can relate to. <laughs> 